So everybody give a round of applause to Swift. <laughs> God, I hate this unit. So with the most recent summon video, of course, we did pull Swick. He's pretty solid, to be honest, but he's very weird and kind of niche. And I kind of see why they did it, because they didn't want to make another broken Blood Knight. And come to think of it, out of all these Season 2 Blood Knights, I think Swick may be the best one. So let's talk about what he does. So his first ability is Water Resistance Level 5. He has Water Resist 25%. Next is Skill CT down when near death level 5. This reduces Skill CT by 50% when near death. Skill CT 100% down and Skill Damage 100% up during Magia. But yeah, for the most part, Swick is exactly the same as Vox. His skill increases uh, his art gauge by 20 every time he uses it. And then of course, whenever he uses it in Magia, it's going to give him an extra 20 art gauge. So he has 40 art gauge on skill, which is pretty nasty. His normal art is decent. It gives everybody three art gauge for 10 seconds. So of course, 30 art gauge in total. He is a type B unit, however, which I will be making a video on arch gen types very soon because people keep asking me about it. So I thought maybe making a video on it may be better. So that should be coming out in a few days. And then his true art, of course, upon first activation, you activate Magia Drive. And then after that, while you're in Magia, you'll do a 40,000% fire damage physical. You increase all allies max HP by 20%, and you increase the physical damage by 100% for 10 seconds. He's probably the best physical damage buffer in the game, and as an attacker, he's pretty solid. The main downfall to Swick is that, of course, he just doesn't have any crit chance in him, considering the fact that he's meant to be used alongside Vox, which is literally like his best friend, because both of them are physical attackers. Vox buffs up crit chance by 100%, Swick buffs up physical damage by 100%, and when they're both on the team, it just gets disgusting what they can do. But yeah, to be honest, anybody that gives crit chance is going to work really well, especially their physical damage dealer. It's going to work really well with Swick. And Swick, a lot of times people think that he's only used in like nuke compositions, but the fact that he's also used in sustained damage compositions, like for example, against Asus in raids, even in some of the mines floors, he's used there because uh, his slots are very good. Five star physical is very versatile. You have arch gen equips, you have nuking equips. Five star defense is amazing for him because this allows him to be put on teams where maybe you don't want to run a tank, so you're able to still have damage mitigation because of Swix five star defense slot. Support is insane because, you know, of course, that allows for Fin Shorts, Arc Ignite, Keon. It actually turns out Swick is actually one of the best units for the current raid that's here for this Dragon Boy because he increases everybody's max HP by 20%, which in GS, increasing your max HP also increases your current HP, meaning that you actually get a heal and you can heal from people just increasing your max HP, which is really good in this fight specifically because he reduces all healing, but that doesn't matter if you're using someone like Vox that increases everybody's stats by 20% or using someone like Swick that increases everybody's max HP by 20%. So why not? Let's go find a raid to do on that and we'll show off the boy Swick. Pour one out for my Tazmon brothers, man, my gold cats. Shout out to these boys because they don't get one shot of good. Lord. But here we go, man. Here we go. Here's where all the fun begins with these lads. And uh, this is the team we're actually using. I used this in my stream yesterday. And uh, I've had a lot of success with this team so far in raids. It hasn't been doing the insane amounts of damage, but it's doing enough to where I'm not dying, but I'm also keeping up pretty well in score. Uh, the only time I really like just get demolished in score is whenever somebody has like this exact team, but instead of using Rimuru, they're using Vox instead, which would probably be the ideal team comp for this uh this raid specifically because, man, dude, this raid is a pain sometimes with the amount of damage he can dish out, especially because healing is reduced. So you take deeps, man. You take some mad deeps. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, but OP, how do you get Rimuru? Uh, it's from a crossover summon, which uh, isn't currently here because GS just sucks sometimes, man. But yeah, I really like this team because once we get uh, D Cilia stacked up, uh, we're able to have just tons and tons of art gauge on the team. And it's just a lot of fun. Thank God Mako has uh, iframes because she didn't. Oh, Lord Jesus. Yeah, but as far as like damage wise goes for Swick, he's pretty solid, like, you know, going through defense and stuff. But if you want to, of course, get like the main big boy damage from him, you will be wanting to use him alongside a crit buffer. But I think overall, he's really solid. He's able to buff up these Celia's damage by quite a bit right here uh, because, of course, she does deal physical damage on her true art, not on her normal art. She actually deals magic damage on that. But yeah, you see, doing some deeps, 2 million, 2.6, 3 million, you know, we just go up, man. We just go up and up because, uh, yeah, this team is pretty nasty, bro. It's pretty nasty. Also, that is kind of inflated because the way how this entire fight works with like the breaking gauge up there and like the damage up and everything this is where i start to worry though because uh yeah once he starts flying again after he's been broken once this is where like all the deeps comes in and i don't like this <laughs> this guy in first place though goodness the amount of points he has he's going dumb and i think a part of me feels like we're the only ones actually fighting this boss 
I will say, I wouldn't be surprised if people are dying to this boss. This boss is pretty difficult. But yeah, man, Swick has tons of art gauge. He's just popping off his true art every single second because, man, it's just OP. I wish Mines was here, though, because I actually wanted to use Swick in Mines. Like, I really wanted to use him in Mines. Because with that uh, five-star defense slot, to an extent, you can kind of get away with not using a tank on some floors because you do have some damage mitigation. Because, like, the more I play GS, the more I realize how strong just damage mitigation is. The whole game is literally balanced around that. And it's made me value five-star defense slots a lot more. And right there, we got second place, which was pretty solid. Of course, I don't like sweat on raids or anything. I don't really try to go super hard on them. I just get my rewards and I dip, man. That's all I do. But even though there's a lot going on, that kind of shows you just how much sweat can do. Being able to increase everybody's max HP by that 20% on the true art is really nice able to heal us a ton in that fight but yeah man i think that's gonna be it for the video the broke version of vox and he's probably gonna get even crazier because a rumor going around on jp that they're gonna release another version of vox which if that's the case i don't know if i'm ready for that <laughs> but yeah uh, swick's really good very longevity unit too because he's a physical damage buffer so he's always gonna be good as long as you're using him alongside other physical damage dealers which get released constantly. Apart from that though, guys, it's been your boy OP. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more. Tell me what you think about Swick in the comment section below. If you guys summon on the banner, hopefully you guys got a uh, really solid luck. Hopefully you got the units that you wanted. You know, me, I, I got Swick and uh, I wasn't upset about Swick. I just was, I guess, disappointed. But thank y'all for coming out. Last but not least, man, don't forget to drink water.